Now I'm ready to perform my parametric studies and specify parameter values for the design points. I'll go to the Parameter Set tab. For the first design point, I want the vertical displacement to be controlled by a value of 0.0015 meters. For the second design point, I want the horizontal displacement to be controlled by a value of 0.005 meters. And I want the third design point to be a combination of both. I'll create a derived parameter, which is a parameter defined by values of other parameters. It will show the percentage improvement of the optimized design point over my original design. I'll copy the value of the p-drop parameter, paste it into the value cell for the p3 output parameter, and modify the expression as shown. To correctly define the derived parameter, I must enter the units of the expression value, Pascal. I'll call it Improvement. I'll select all my design points, right-click, and select Update Selected Design Points. This update will take some time, so I'll skip ahead in the process. Now all the design points are updated, and the table of design points is populated with the output parameter values. The third design point indicates the best improvement over the original design. I can see that if I change the location of my design points by 1.5 mm in the vertical direction and by 5 mm in the horizontal direction, the pressure drop through the system decreases by 8%. Let's compare the results of the best design point to the original design. To do this, I need to copy the best design point to current because Workbench only saves the data and output parameters for the current design point. I'll right-click it and select Copy Inputs to Current. Then select the current selected point and update it with copied parameters. The design point is updated. I'll return to the Project tab. Now I can compare the results of my morphed system to my original system in CFD Post. I'll drop the Results Component System into the project schematic. I'll bring the solutions from the original and morphed systems to the result cell by connecting the cells, and double-click the result cell to open CFD Post and see the two designs side by side. Under Fluid, I'll select the wall checkboxes to display the outer wall of the geometry. I'll double-click Case Comparison, enable Case Comparison Active, and ensure that Synchronized Camera in Active Views is enabled. I'll apply the changes I've made. I'll set the view layout to two viewports. When I zoom in to the bottom part of the Coriolis flow meter, I can see the difference in the shapes of the two designs. One is morphed, stretched at the bottom, and the other is not. I'll color my design by pressure and select Local from the Range drop-down list. I can view the pressure distribution in the system. The pressure in the morph system is lower near the tube's inlet. This concludes the Mesh Morpher Optimizer in Workbench tutorial.